in recent years it's become important for space agencies to establish space stations above our planet. This helps with continuing research projects and plans. The most well known of these is the International Space Station, which is a large spacecraft that orbits our planet. Over the years astronauts have called this place home, with many of these snapping breathtaking photographs of our planet. The space station allows the astronauts to carry out tests on board due to its unique science laboratory. It's appeared in various films and can even be observed from Earth. Several nations work together to build the space station and to this day many nationalities have been on board. The average speed the International Space Station travels is 17,500 miles per hour, and this means it orbits Earth every 90 minutes. Recently though NASA have come forward with an exciting new plan. They have announced they're going to start allowing tourists to visit the International Space Station. They hope to start this by 2020, and it's thought the price will be in the region of £27,000, or around $35,000. NASA have said it's something they've been thinking about for a while, and this could open up other business ventures. It's very likely that NASA will have many people wanting to visit the space station. They've said there will be two private astronaut missions per year. Although $35,000 sounds like a lot of money, the person will get their money's worth. NASA have said the private astronauts will be permitted to travel to the International Space Station for up to a month. Robin Gatins, who is the Deputy Director of the International Space Station, said the following. NASA is opening the International Space Station to commercial opportunities, and marketing these opportunities as we've never done before. Many have already shown interest, with NASA saying that individuals who are chosen will have to meet the medical and training requirements for spaceflight. It's been announced that a spacecraft that will take these people up to the space station is called Starliner. This is being built by SpaceX and Boeing. The space station has more than enough room to be able to do this. It has a volume of more than two Boeing 747 jetliners, and it's able to support a crew of over eight people. NASA have also shown an interest in privatising the International Space Station. So my question to you guys is what do you make of this? And if you had the chance, would you visit the International Space Station? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.